Good afternoon, peoples. This is Jamir Rodriguez, once again, to subscribe to you today on how to conquer loneliness. You know, you know, like all those times that we feel like, oh, I want a girlfriend so bad, oh, I want a boyfriend so bad, and I just really don't want to be alone. And you're like, oh, God, what does understand stuff? Man, I, I love the way he treats me and stuff. I love the way he gives me so much happiness and stuff, but he can't fill the emptiness which I want someone to, like, love and hug on, you know? How to conquer that. And I do admit, today is an awesome day. It's nice and cloudy. And I wish I could show you guys, but let's say here, um, I like a good point of view since that new wall is there and stuff. It's really irritating. But here's how you conquer loneliness. For all those times when you feel alone and like no one cares and I want a boyfriend, I want a girlfriend so bad and stuff, and you just want it so bad, but yet you're like, I have to find the right one first. I'm not sure he's the right one or her, she's the, or, or him's the right one and stuff. You just, you just don't know and you get all confused and stuff, not knowing what to do. And through that situation and stuff, a lot of times you feel sadness, depression, and sometimes even anger and stuff because you see other people have a relationship and you're like, dude, I want that. You know? So one way to conquer that, that's if you just trust in God. I mean, majority of times we'll be like, oh, I don't want to trust in God and stuff. What has he done for my life? He doesn't love me. He never proved it to me. And he proved it to you when he died on the cross and he loved the world so much that he gave his only son and he died for all of your sins. Just imagine that. All the sins that we have made on the weight of one shoulder. And that was Jesus Christ. He did all that just for us. And he went back and fought the devil and conquered and freed us from all the chains that Satan had us in. Now, if you just continue to be run by your emotions, you ain't going to find the true love and happiness that God provides. If you just feel sad all the time saying, I'm lonely, I don't want this no more, I don't want this, then Satan will take advantage of that. Satan goes to you through your emotion, your mind, and then your will. He'll go to your emotion first by saying, oh, you're worthless, you're lonely and stuff, no one cares about you. You're never going to find the right one. You're pointless in life. So what's the point? Then he goes to your mind, making you think that, oh yeah, I really am worthless. I am pointless. I'm never going to get that. I'm never going to get that. And you'll make more and more mistakes as it goes on. Then it goes to your will on what you decide to do. And that is your choice. Well, God is the opposite. He goes from, starts from the will. Well, actually, he doesn't. It's your choice. You have to go from the will. You have to have a desire to be with him. I am willing to believe that you are the one who died on the cross for me. Then he goes, you, go, you have to go to your mind and stuff. Make sure your mind's pure, not thinking of sinful thoughts, such as, such as drinking alcohol, having sex before marriage, and all those bad things, you know? Then you have to go to your emotions, and your emotions will be filled with joy, love, more merciful, and compassion than you ever felt in your whole entire life. You'll be filled with everlasting joy. And I, trust me, I'm, I'm the exact same way. Because I used to feel like that all the time. I used to feel lonely and stuff, and feel like, oh, I'm never going to find the one. I just want that girl. I want a girlfriend, so I want to have a girlfriend. But really, you just got to trust in God. And if you don't trust in God, then you're going to make a lot of mistakes. If you just trust in your Father, the Lord and the Savior, the one who loves you so much and who put you on this earth, then just trust Him. Because His plans are perfect. He will ruin your plans because He's got better ones in store. It took me a while to learn that. But <laughs> now that I do, I have nothing to worry about. Hakuna Matata means no one leads to the rest of your days. Trust in God with all your heart, and then He'll provide everything else. And if you think that God doesn't understand, maybe that you're tired of waiting and you just want that boyfriend and stuff and you do it anyways, then you're doing the wrong decision. You know, a lot of times stuff people feel like, it's not like that, it's not like that. But believe it or not, we all have the same trials, we all have the same falls, we all have the same issues. There's only one result, and that is the only if we trust in God. A lot of times we don't even know God exists, and they just continue to do it their own way. Well, God loves you so much, you have no idea. You think He left your side and God was never there for you because someone died or something's been going wrong and stuff, but God never left you. God says in the Bible, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Meaning by that, He's been here all along. Well, he, God was like, okay, dude, I'm right here. Just focus on me and stuff and I'll just trust in me and I'll give you the right one. And you're like, I want a girlfriend. I'm, I'm going to go try it and stuff. And you just do your own will and not His. God's will will be done. No matter how you try it or how to deny it, His will will be done. Unless Satan takes advantage of you, which is not cool. <laughs> Satan is not nice to say. He'll do anything he can just to make you not happy. And the Lord just wants you to be happy. Just trust in me and all your ways will be perfect. Just trust in Him. Although the trials may seem so long and seem to be never ending, in the end it's always worth it. God says, I never said it would be easy, I only said it would be worth it. Trust in me, and all your ways will be perfect. 
just trust in God and not everything will be all right for all those who feel lonely. God will never leave you. He'll never leave you. Ever. He's always by your side. Regardless, He's always with you. You just gotta run to Him and turn to Him. Don't turn away from Him. Don't run for it. Just trust in Him and all everything will be all right. Jesus Christ loves you. He loves you and He loves you more than you ever imagined that. As Jim Rabbi is saying, how to conquer loneliness is only through our Father Jesus Christ, our Lord. And if you really believe me, and you don't know God yet, say this prayer with me. Lord, I believe that I am a sinner. I know I have fallen short to, your, to all my mistakes, Lord. And Lord, I believe that you died on the cross for me. I believe that you died and rose again. I believe you're the only one Savior, Lord. And I please ask you to please forgive me for all my sins, Lord. Forgive me. I accept you in my life. I accept you in the Lord God and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. If you said that prayer with me, congratulations. Trust in God. Go to church. Be a good Christian. Follow God's way. He loves you. Don't forget that. See you guys later, right?